Hello everyone. Uh, now I'm going to tell you uh, about another application which we get from Google. You have to uh, log into your Gmail ID and go to your applications. When you scroll down, you get this Jamboard. Now we click on this Jamboard and uh, this is the interface that opens. This is the Jamboard interface. Now we click on this plus sign and we get this new Jamboard. We have to open this blank Jamboard. Now, right. This is opening now. Now what I do is I, this is an untitled jam, so I just give it a title. For example, I write uh, display, okay, and I just click or I can give project or anything for that matter. Now let me first tell you why I am telling about this particular application, what is the utility of this application for teachers and uh, everywhere this is because this is one application wherein you can create interesting teaching material for your students you can do your board work you can share this with your google classroom you can uh, help students make projects you can give notifications to students if you want to uh, give them reference materials to study you can always do that so this is an excellent uh, display board where uh, it's like a, a jam board is more like a felt board where you pin different notices and different information in a creative way. So now first let us uh, understand the interface. This one, uh, this basically is uh, shows the zoomed view of the jam board. This is a background option. You can get different backgrounds. This is a white background. You can get dotted background or lined background or squares or uh, this gray type background or this blue background or this black background. So these are different options of backgrounds that you can get. So let's shift back to the white one. This is a clear frame. That is whatever you do over here, you just click on this clear frame. Everything is going to be cleaned at a go. Now here you have the options of the pens. Now this is same as MS Paint. This when we just click on this paint option you get different varieties of colors. You can choose any color from here and you can select the pen. This is the pen, this is the marker, this is the highlighter and this is a brush. For example let me just select one color. Now this is a pen so I mark this, this is a uh, thinner line. Now this is a marker, this is a slightly thicker line. Now this is a highlighter, this is even more thick and this is a brush, it comes out like this. So now I just click on clear frame, so it gets erased. Now if I want to use or, or write anything on this, for example, uh, I click on this and I write on this for just just like that, whatever I write over here. This also gives me this option of an eraser wherein I can erase whatever I have written. If I want to erase a particular portion, I can erase it. Okay. If I want to delete the whole thing, I can just click on clear frame and it will clear the frame. So now what I do is. Uh, I, I'll give you the options that I have. This icon, this arrow is to select something on this, on this canvas. This is a sticky note. This is just like those, uh, you know, kind of uh, post-it kind of notes which you can, fluorescent notes, which you stick uh, on notice boards. This is an image you can attach and this is basically a laser. I'll show you the options. This is uh, how you can rename the file. You can download it as PDF. You can save it as an image. You can remove it or delete it. You can make a copy of, of it, create updates and send feedback. This is how from here where you can share 
this particular file. Now let me first tell you how to uh, create a project from this particular Jamboard. For example, let me first create the background. So let me select this blue background. For example, I want to give my students some information about online classes. So what I do over here is I just take a sticky note and I write on the sticky note. So I've written online classes. Now I just click on save. So this particular uh, sticky note gets attached here. So now I can rotate it. I can change its size by just uh, pulling from any of the corners. And this three dots will give, you me, give me options of editing whatever I've written inside or duplicating that is making a copy of it or deleting it. So now this is the heading that I am giving. Now I want, I have collected a few uh, in uh, articles through screenshots based on uh, to give, uh, based on information related to online uh, ed, uh, courses. So what I do is I just click on image and I click on uh, image and I get different options. This upload option, you can upload from here, you can do uh, online search from Google, you can go to Google Drive or you can click on photos in your folder. Now this is, we are selecting a file, uh, a picture for upload. So we just click on select a file and select files from your device. Now I have saved a few uh, pictures of online courses uh, from here. And I can select any one of them and I just upload them. Now have a look. This is uploading. So now I can just about, yeah. Now I can, uh, you, you know, change the size of it. I can adjust the size and I can, you know, uh, tilt it and turn it any way I want and I can display it on any part of the uh, canvas. Uh, I, I have to, uh, I have many other pictures, a few others, let's see. Uh, so let me click on this again, select from file and uh, I click on one more. Right. So this is uploading, see this is in the process of uploading now. So I uh, take this uh, and I just drag it here. So this is one more. Now in this way you can uh, create a number of them and uh, you can always you know kind of uh, mm, decorate it as per your will. Now here I have given information on online classes. You can give information of related to any reference material or any book that the students need to read, anything which any screenshot you take from the internet, anything you want to, uh, to do or for a project if you want, you can do that. Say, uh, so this is a very, uh, very es essential kind of uh, tool. Now, this particular option is a laser, wherein you can, you know, uh, point out, say for example, you want to teach from here. So, you just say online classes, you underline and you teach, this automatically disappears. So I just point out these portions and I just teach uh, whichever I want to highlight or point out while teaching. So I can always do that. Okay. Now this is one page. When I click on this arrow, I can create a second page to this. Right. Now here, uh, maybe I choose a different background and I, let me, let me select this. So this time, let me say that I can, I, I want to uh, create a project or I want to create a teaching aid for my students, some illustration for my students. So for that, I just click on sticky note and maybe I'm doing it on, uh, may, maybe, you know, nature, something on nature I'm doing. So I just save it. Okay. So 
see this is uh, there I can just put it here and I can increase the size right so now what I can do is now I can I have some more pictures I have stored on my computer for this purpose so I just click on that on my desktop see I've I've selected some natural pictures so I just can uh, select them from here and I can display them this is getting uploaded yeah one more let me just give okay now this way you know I can display pictures I can change the size where I can increase the size I can decrease the size whatever I want I can do with this now uh, it gives me a very good uh, option of uh, giving online or sharing online uh, teaching aids now this is uh, teaching learning material that is now let's come to the third page we can use this uh, jam board as a board if we use it as a uh, as a wide board what we can do is we can just click on this marker and uh, it can be of any color that I prefer it can be black or blue or whatever and I select this marker pen and I can just write anything I want just the way I would write on a whiteboard. So this serves as a board for me and this uh, uh, can also be transformed into a blackboard. Suppose I make it into a, I select this background as black and I select the marker pen as white. So here this is my marker pen. So now or, or maybe uh, I can uh, select my highlighter pen and you know like see here I can very clearly write on this it gives me the appeal of a blackboard. So this can be at a time used as a blackboard. So this Jamboard has numerable innumerable functions and uh, you can be very creative with it and you can share different things uh, from here. So from this we have this option of sharing as I told you earlier you can download it you can save it to your computer whatever you want you can do with this as a PDF you can save you can uh, and you can download it in the form of an image also whatever now this share option gives me an option to share this particular uh, jam board and uh, see the options that I'm getting over here as it is I can save this jam board gets auto saved to your a Google Drive so you can retrieve it at any point of time when you are teaching students during your sessions in uh, on Google Meet or Zoom or you can also access them when you are teaching uh, uh, your Google Classroom to share on Google Classroom to attach as a material now this is the sharing option where you can just type an email ID for example I just type uh, 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 just an email ID and I can just give some message over here and this display of uh, Jamboard is there and I can just change the options and the settings I don't want them to edit maybe if I want them to edit I can click on that I just want them to view and comment so I can just click on view and comment and I change the settings and I just change this to viewer instead of editor if I don't want uh, whoever is sh seeing this I don't I don't want that person to uh, to make changes on this and I just click on send so this I can share this uh, through mail or else I can share this through link what I can do is I can get this link over here and I can uh, just uh, on the this Jamboard link which is given I can copy the link now this is the settings is giving me restricted so I can just click on anyone with the link so I can now share it with anybody uh, who is having this link and I can copy paste this link and I can give it and share it on whatsapp on facebook or whatever social media I want so this gives me an excellent opportunity to uh, share teaching aids very creative teaching aids uh, for my class now uh, I'll just uh, this uh, I just go into and I'll just show you some jam boards that I have created ok 
okay recent jam see this is the one i was illustrating to you and this is the one i have created so just let me open this for you see this is the one i created on online classes for demonstration and display over here so i have just clicked and i've just given articles over here uh giving information to my students like a notice board i've given them so i can un make announcements or write something the upcoming something or whatever or give a sh uh, give a summary of whatever i am teaching or whatever i'm going to teach or whatever references i want the students to make so anything i can share it on this see here this is a first page i've done this is a second page where i've shared the natural sites and uh, this looks so colorful and so nice so uh, i'll just share with you one more jam board that i created uh, this is uh, this is another jam board i created just have a look see here i have created this for my class so anybody can uh, be creative with the class uh, and do it according to their own creativity so this is a very good tool an excellent uh, uh, tool an online tool uh, for preparing content uh, for your uh, students and uh, for sharing them uh, on your google classroom or saving them to your drive as it is it is already saved to your drive so this is how you can prepare content uh, for teaching Now I shall tell you how to integrate your Jamboard to your Google Classroom and create an interactive assignment. For that you need to come to your Google Classroom, you need to click on Classwork, you need to click on Create an Assignment. Now along with the convention and title, for example I give as uh, for example uh, Jamboard Assignment and uh, i can give instructions accordingly i just click on add and from i click on google drive now in google drive i have saved uh, some jams from there i'm going to uh, select the one for example i select this one and i click on insert so now here i get three options students can view file students can edit file make a copy for each student so now i can click on students can edit file and I can uh, uh, assign points to it. For example, I give 10 points and then uh, and uh, I can give a due date, uh, for example, any date I choose for that matter. And uh, I, I may select a topic, whatever topic I feel like doing. And then all I can do is I can assign. So that way my students uh, can get an interactive assignment where they will be completing the assignment on the uh, Jamboard itself and returning it back to me. So that that's how you can make your assignments very creative and you can make your assignments uh, interactive and you can keep your students engaged even on an in uh, on in an online class. Now I shall tell you how to integrate uh, your Jamboard with your uh, Google Meet platform. Now this is for your Google Meet platform where you are teaching online just for example and you need to present your screen to present your Jamboard. So I just click here your entire screen and uh, I click here on my, on, on my screen here and I click on share. So now uh, what I can do is, now this is sharing my screen. So now I can go to my drive, my Google Drive, where I have saved all my jams. And this is uh, the jam, for example, I select. So now on this jam, I can demonstrate, I can illustrate anything, say with the laser, I can just uh, explain something or I can tell them that you are supposed to do this or complete this or whatever. And... Uh, or maybe you can add a sticky note or whatever and give them instructions uh, or what you can do still maybe this is these are the pictures you can show them illustrations and pictures 
and this is the jam white board which I which is there I can make it a blackboard also as I told you so you can just about uh, create an interactive board work where you can just select your pen and you can start working on it and so this is going to be an interactive session for the students so that is how uh, when you just uh, finish your teaching all you do is you just click on stop sharing so that is how uh, you can uh, integrate or you can uh, you know blend this is here and you of course you click on stop presenting so you can now integrate your Google uh, Meet platform with your Jamboard as well. So this is a very, very uh, helpful uh, and uh, a tool which you can use for teaching online uh, for your uh, for educational purpose.